It's an annual tradition here for us at Breakfast Television, pairing with Kids Cancer Care, and it's Camp Kindle that benefits from this challenge, the High Hopes Challenge. And today we're meeting the coaches and their kids' coaches, the challengers this morning. Uh, we welcome Brian Kai. We have Bev and Amanda, Sloan and Scott, who are participating. And each have been tasked with the challenge to raise $10,000. That money all goes to Camp Kindle. And these kids are going to tell us how special that place is. And let's start with you, Kai. Uh, when was the first time you went to camp? The first time I went to camp was in 2017. And what was your experience like there? It was good. It was, good. It was fun. Yeah. And what was your favorite part about going to camp? Probably the like um, zip line thing. It was like where you zip line. Yeah, the zip line super fun. Do you go backwards on the zip line? No. No, <laughs> just forward, straight ahead. I straight ahead and I on the prize. Brian, this is your first experience fundraising with Kids Cancer Care. And tell us about this challenge that you've taken on. It's $10,000. How do you feel about this? Uh, I'm excited. I've got Kai as my coach, so I don't think I have anything to worry about until I hear things like going backwards on a zip line. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, Kai. Are you afraid of heights? Uh, I didn't realize I was until we first met a few weeks ago at Ingenation, and we had to do uh, uh, stunts, climbing up, climbing walls, and... Yeah, I'm not overly excited to do it again, but it was fun. It'll be worth it. <laughs> It'll be worth it. That's good practice because it is the High Hopes Challenge, and, and the uh, kid coaches and their challengers, they actually get to take on some of the obstacles at Camp Kindle. Amanda, tell us a little bit about your experience at camp, and what do you love about camp? Um, my favorite thing about camp is the archery course because I can always get the bullseye. Really? Yes. You have, you're a good shot. I do. Nice. Okay, tell us a little bit about your, your story and your journey, and when were you diagnosed? Um, when I was two and a half, I was diagnosed with MDS, mild plaque syndrome. What that is, it it's, um, happens in your bone marrow where it can't produce a lot of um, platelets and blood cells. And then from that, I had leukemia and then I had radiation and chemotherapy. Incredible. And tell us about how you're feeling today. Where are you at today? I'm, I think I'm 12 years out of cancer. Amazing. So, yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. um, and tell us why it was important for you, Beth, to hop on board. It's an amazing experience. I'm super excited. I wanted to be able to meet them, you know, give them a little bit of uh, tools that we learn in real life as well. So I think it's awesome. I'm super excited. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible to hear kids like, like yourself, Amanda, yeah. and uh, Kai and Sloan speak about their journeys. Sloan, when were you diagnosed? Uh, I was diagnosed in 2008. Um, I was diagnosed with leukemia, like, uh, um, but yeah, I don't really m know much about it, but is um, my my brother gave stem cells to me, and then that's how I'm here today. Awesome. And you have had experience at Camp Kindle too. Why is Camp Kindle such a special place? Um, I think it's awesome because um, we get to meet people that we relate to and how we can like make more friends and um, do cool things there. Yeah, friendships, friendships that last, and you have these shared stories together. Can you tell us a little bit about the beads and the, the beads that you that you put together for your journey? So uh, I have so for me I have like this like three meter long um, string of beads and all of them tells one bit of story about my cancer treatment. So like I've had like when I've had blood work or I've had to have chemo or something like that, I've gotten a bead for every single time. So that's how it's gone down to like three meters. Yeah. Wow, that, yeah. that's incredible and, uh, and, and a great story. And obviously that would be convincing enough, but why did you want, why did you want to help out, Scott? Well, I wanted to help out uh, to just make a difference if I could. I'm a father of two young kids of my own, and I can imagine, uh, although I can't know how difficult it would be to go through it, and from the very moment that I met this young man, Sloan, he's been an inspiration to me, actually. He, in his, in his life already, has accomplished so much. He's so strong. He's kicked cancer's butt. He's incredibly smart, and he's a Rubik's Cube champion, and so um, with him as my coach, I think I feel like I can accomplish almost anything if he's done all that already. Amazing. I know you guys are planning a boxing class as part of your fundraising. There will be fundraising online as well. If you're watching at home, you're interested in supporting these teams will be online at breakfasttelevision.ca on May the 1st. Our annual High Hopes Challenge. We are raising money for Kids Cancer Care and Camp Kindle and meeting the challengers and their kid coaches today. Each team has been tasked with raising $10,000. And this is the kickoff day where the teams get to meet each other and have a little fun doing it and learn a little bit more about where this money is going. Um, we're being joined this morning by all of the teams. And Neil, tell us a little bit about your experience with Camp Kindle. Okay, I've been to Camp Kindle twice. Uh, our company actually go out and do um, volunteer days. So during the off season, we go out and build walls, repair fences, paint buildings, chop wood. I chopped about four cords of wood last year. 
Amazing. And uh, a lot of fun. Okay, there, there's the sweat equity and now $10,000. How do you feel about that challenge? Uh, a little bit intimidated, but uh, seeing what the kids go through and how brave the kids are, it's, um, it's going to be easy. We're Absolutely. Gonna, we're going we're gonna to be the best team. You're going to conquer it. Okay, Absolutely. Taya, tell us what you love about going to camp. What's your favorite part? Um, I would say meeting new friends or the food there is really awesome. The food's awesome. Yeah. Cool. And how many times have you been to camp? Uh, two. You've been to camp two times. And what brought you to camp in the first place? Tell us a little bit about your journey and what you've been diagnosed with. Um, I've been diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia and um, we didn't like I did a little kid program like a, after I was cured but um, I went to Camp Kendall two years ago so um, we didn't know about it till a couple of years after right so yeah and Camp Kendall as we know is a place where kids who are living with cancer and their siblings get to be kids um, and we're meeting another team here we have Neil and we have Tal this morning Tal what do you love about camp um, it's like a lot of experiences you can go swimming and like the zip line yeah zip line and what's the funnest part the funnest part is probably just like hanging out with your counselors and yeah Cool. Yeah, the counselors are so awesome at Camp Kendall. Uh, Neil, you're up for the challenge here, $10,000 at stake. And how do you feel about uh, entering your fundraising goal? Oh, yeah, intimidated too, but it's, I think, the least I can do to help uh, kids like Tal uh, have and enjoy time at this camp. So I'm really looking forward to going to camp with Tal and uh, doing the High Hopes Challenge and looking forward to meeting my goal of $10,000. Okay, absolutely. We wish you the best of luck. And, and Brad, uh, why was it important for you to uh, put... Put yourself uh, um, in, in this position to raise this money and behind this cause. I know some friends that have also done this and the experience that they shared with me. I just said, bring it on when I was asked. I couldn't um, accept it fast enough. It's, an, it's a great cause and you get to go be a kid for yourself. Absolutely. With, with, uh, with another, Giselle told me about the, um, the camp and I just can't wait. Yes, well, we're, we're so excited for you. It's going to be quite the journey. Giselle, what's your favorite part about camp? What do you love about it? Um, there's like this ropes course and it's like great. There's zip line, there's a giant swing and just a lot of other fun stuff. Anyone scared of heights here? Hands up. Oh, maybe, maybe not admitting it. Uh, well, that will be part of it, the experience of going to camp and spending a day at camp. But first they have to raise the $10,000 to get there. You can help out. Just head up our website and it goes live on May the 1st. It's the kickoff day for the High Hopes Challenge and supporting Kids Cancer Care and Camp Kindle. This is an annual tradition for us here on Breakfast Television. And meeting the teams today, we're doing some team building at Wind Sports. And these teams are tasked with $10,000 each to be raised. It goes directly to camp. It's a very special place for these kids. And we're meeting the teams today. So I'm being joined here by Ryan and Lucas. Ryan, tell us about that $10,000 and how you're hoping to raise it. I hope to uh, raise far more than that by... Uh, by uh, getting our employees to donate and then making our company match it. And uh, also a special shout out to Carol, who volunteered me for this. Yes. So she's going to be the first person I hit up. <laughs> shout out to Carol. <laughs> Coming at you, Carol. We need your donation. I love it. And your company is? Uh, Kid Co. Construction. Okay, excellent. And Lucas, tell us about uh, camp for you. What's your favorite part about camp? The zip line. The zip line. That's, I get, that's a big favorite for everybody. And you've been how, how many times to camp? Seven. Why is it a special place for you? Because I get to make friends. Yeah, making friends and doing fun things. Uh, afraid of heights at all when it comes to the high hopes part of it? Uh, we'll see. Okay, we'll see how that goes. I like that. Um, and then meeting another team here this morning, we have Sally. And, uh, and your kid coach is Jada. Thank you, Jada, for the name tag. I appreciate that. Uh, Jada, tell us a little bit about how many times you've been to camp. I've been six times. Yes. Yeah. And why is it an important place for you? Um, it's a great place to like meet new friends and it's just really fun there. <laughs> yeah, it's a place where you've been to many times and in many different capacities. Tell us a little bit about your, your diagnosis and when you were diagnosed. Um, well, I had neuroblastoma when I was born. And you went through treatment and, and how are you now? I'm fine. I still got to go to like the hospital and stuff, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Easy to see why uh, why we would support these kids. And Sally, you've already planned some some fundraising initiatives. What are you hoping to accomplish here with your with your journey and your kid coach? I'll be uh, working with the company I work with to uh, raise the ten thousand dollars. We have a lot of initiatives going: chili cook-offs, bake sales, uh, just to hit ten thousand or more, and uh, and then go on the 9th of June to have some fun. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, Catherine, you've become creative too in your fundraising. And what are you hoping to do for your fundraising effort? 
Um, as an independent strategy consultant, I'm asking my clients to, instead of paying me for a day of work, to donate to Kids Cancer. Awesome. And hopefully that'll get us up and above the 10,000. I love it. I love it. Lofty goals. And Amy, why is it such a special place for you, Camp Kindle? Um, it's just really fun and the people are really memorable, you know. Yeah. And how many times have you been to camp? Like more than 20. And what, what's the favorite part? Outside, the, if you can't pick the zip line, what would you pick? <laughs> like the volunteers and the food's really good. Awesome, we've heard that. Yes, Camp Kindle, it's a great place, it's a magical place. You can help out by going online to breakfasttelevision.ca. The annual High Hopes Challenge, where we raise $10,000 per team for Kids Cancer Care and Camp Kindle. We're meeting the teams, the teams are team building today at Winsport before the kickoff for their fundraising. It will be on our website as of May the 1st, so you can get involved and give back too. So let's start over here with Tony and Matthew and tell us a little bit about, you've already sort of planted the seed with your fundraising efforts and how are you hoping to raise that $10,000? I'm gonna tap into the resources of my lawyer network friends and business network friends who are all very generous and eager to help support us. Okay, and do you expect that you might raise more than 10 grand? I'm pretty confident that we will. Awesome, I like that confidence. And uh, tell us why, why Camp Kindle is such a special place for you, Matthew. When did you start going to camp? I started going to camp when I was six years old. Um, it's important to me because I can meet new friends there. Uh, and it's really fun to go there. Okay, awesome. It's a great place to go. What's your favorite part about going to camp? Um, everything. The whole thing? The whole yeah. deal is pretty awesome? Cool. It is a very special place, a magical place, and uh, one that gives a place for these kids who are living with a cancer diagnosis in their own families, a place to just be kids and have a great time. And that's where you've gone as well, Ethan. And what do you love about going to Camp Kindle? Uh, it's just nice to look more, more normal around like all people who've, who've gone n n kind of close to the same experience as you. Yeah, who have similar experience. Mm -hmm. And what was your diagnosis? Ewing sarcoma. Okay, and tell us about your journey and, uh, and your treatment. Well, I've gone through about six surgeries, one five-hour surgery on my head, and an 18-hour surgery on my leg. Incredible, and where are you at in your journey today? Uh, right now I'm in remission for five years. Amazing, that's awesome. And what do you love about camp? What's the best part? Uh, the food. The food, we've been hearing that today. The food is awesome. Uh, these challengers and their kid coaches, they'll get to experience a day at camp. What are you most looking forward to in this fundraising journey, raising the $10,000 and then getting to spend the day? Well, I want to at least raise that $10,000. I got my father and my chairman of our company. They're on board already, so hopefully I can uh, do much better than the 10. And I'm in the oil and gas industry, so hopefully uh, that a lot of nice people on LinkedIn will help me out. And we'll go from there and see if we can get her done. Nice. I like how these challengers are calling people out already. May the 1st is when the kickoff is and $10,000 a piece. It all goes to Camp Kindle. And because this event is so well supported, all of the money that is raised for the High Hopes Challenge will go to support these kids and their families. Breakfasttelevision.ca for more information.